What's going on guys? It's your boy Floki. We're back at it with another video and today I get to finally bring you my quick tip video on how to use Fujin, the good, the bad, everything in between. If you guys like this kind of content for me, make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe. You guys have been, and I'm really, really thankful for you guys for helping me out and showing some love on the channel. It really does mean a lot. So without further ado, Let's spin right into this video. So really quick, you're probably asking, Floki, how do you input Fujin? It's pretty simple. You do that way. Um, I have Heavy Slash set to R1 on my arcade stick, but it's going quarter circle forward, Heavy Slash, or 236H, um, for those who use numpad notation, um, which is basically if you look at your laptop or keyboard, it's actually the, num the numpad that's right onto the right or the left of your rest of your or the rest of your keyboard and it's used for games like dragon ball fighters under night blaze blue and guilty gear the death um you can also you have four follow-ups after fusion you hit punch you get a little projectile the kick you get a hop slash you get a low hitting move and then the overhead is performed by hitting heavy slash once again each has their own little flair and things like that to be used so let's get talking into what makes this move so cool so what's good about fujin a couple of things so i talked about in my last video using fujin with the rc system is a big big component of his game plan so things like using hot Fast RC. You have, you have a lot of tools. This is just a hop. For example. You know, you have that's just with hop. With Rin, you can actually cancel the recovery of that and get a full combo if you like if you're worried about like if you're gonna get hit or not. No problem. Also, if you think they're gonna a butt, if you if you think they're gonna grab, you know you have that to look you have that to look for. You also have the capabilities with the RC system to use the punch follow up, which a lot of people don't talk about, which I'm kind of surprised. Um, so the punch. I think is super strong because it can it can stuff DP. I just have soul here to do that. But you you, you get what I'm saying here, right? Like just stuff like this. Things like that, right? You know, you have a lot of different things you can use said tools for. Another thing you can use, um, another good thing about Anji's um, Fusion is I want to show you guys, just take a look at Anji really quick. Just focus on Anji, don't look at Soul, don't look at that character. We don't, we don't like that character. That character over there, no. Take a look at Anji. I'm inputting Guard Point, right? Now look at the difference between when I hold for Guard Point and when I look for when I hold for Fujin. Not much, right? Now why do I bring this up? So they have similar startup frames. So you can kind of play the mind game of baiting for Guard Point. Because obviously if you don't press it early enough you're gonna get hit you know things like things like that can become a thing you know but a lot of the time you just have to input kick and play that mind game with your opponent and go from there you know you have that working towards your favor obviously people can start throwing they can start backdashing no problem so we're actually gonna input backdash for example, um, in this scenario, get smoked. You guys say more. 
Uh, you also can smoke throws out of that. You know, RC is a little tricky. Um, so, because you can obviously get the slowdown. Uh, they can YRC and blow you back. So be mindful of that as well. You know, you have a lot of tools with Spin and with Fujin and using those in conjunction with each other is super duper important. So bear that in mind when you're when you're playing this character. For starters, it's not safe on block. So I'm actually gonna hold back on my stick and show you guys block after why can't I block because it's not safe none of his uh, follow-ups are safe unless faced correctly so bear that in mind another thing I want to make mention is I had a really good comment on my last video I'm actually gonna put a screenshot of it here they asked what is the difference between this character is he like a dumber version of this character is he watered down um, to plus R. So one thing that's different from plus R in this game is that he cannot whip uh, uh, Fujin and go into follow-ups. So <laughs> it's kind of hit or miss in a lot of situations, but that's okay. You know, it's a brand new system. It's a brand new game. A lot of things are getting discovered with this character. So um, kind of take that in stride and, you know, kind of figure a way out around things. And, you know, you never know what you'll come up with. So in closing, uh, Fujin has its good days and Fujin has its bad days. It's like having a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Some days you really want it and some like you're craving it. Other days you're like, eh, it's whatever. You know, it, the fact that it's negative on block, it's kind of a big thing, but the way you use the RC system, the way you gain meter in this game, it's kind of crazy. You know, and using guard point, and the charge version of Fujin in different ways is also a big part of that. And also the fact that this character is still a counter hit monster, like once he gets in, once he starts his pressure, you know, he doesn't have the greatest Gatlings. You know, he doesn't have the safe, safe pressure. But that's Guilty Gear. You know, every character has its their perks and their, and their not so perks. You know, it's just how you use them. So that's it for Fujin. If you guys like this kind of video, again, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as I'm trying to put up more Anji content for you guys. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about, think about Fujin. Do you guys like it? Do you hate it? And also let me know what kind of content you guys are looking for. Um, obviously, you guys have been killing it. We just passed 200 subscribers the other day. So thank you guys for that. But let me know what other content you guys are looking for. Uh, I'm going to do my best with what I have in front of me. Obviously, I have some offline stuff I want to start recording. As well as I have a video that I want to put together about Butterfly. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see from me. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll check you guys next time.